This is probably everybody's dream. Yours too, I'm guessing. To wake up in the morning well-rested, full of energy, loose and relaxed, and off to a new day to make a difference. And today, we're going to show you how to do that. And so, you could do even more to help yourself wake up with fully charged batteries. We're going to have a prize drawing. We're giving away three of our exercise slings that can be used in so many beneficial ways. At the end of this video, I'll tell you how you could win this exercise sling. I'll show you three things in this video, and I know from my gut and from experience that the reasons why most people wake up dog-tired, having a hard time getting up, with back pain, no energy at all. Tip number one for a good night's sleep, don't eat too late before bedtime and not too much. I know it's hard because it's so nice having a leisurely meal late in the evening. Many people do that, I know, but please kick that habit because when you don't eat too late, at best 7 p.m. at the latest, so you still have two to three hours to digest everything, you will wake up a different person. Just try it. It's such a valuable tip for getting up refreshed and full of energy. Tip number two, we live in an information age. That's great. Social media, all these opinions floating around and so on and so forth. Great. But everything is connected to a screen. Your smartphone, TV, tablet, screens with blue light are everywhere. Either you stop looking at screens in the evening or, and that is the really clever solution, you get yourself a pair of orange tinted glasses with an edge filter that filters out blue light. Because blue light inhibits the melanin production that is responsible for your sleep. And when you stare at your smartphone shortly before you close your eyes or any other screen for that matter, you will automatically sleep badly because your biology stands in the way. And now, the third mistake. As always, I have invited Ina to demonstrate... You can see at first glance, this is the position most people sleep in. And sleeping in this position is the worst thing you can do because you actually sit in your sleep. With your arm pulled in all the way, your back starts to hurt, your shoulders, your neck too, because you overstretch it. All that is triggered by this sleeping position. So, what should you do instead? You should change your position. How? We're going to show you in a minute. And now you might ask yourself, how else should I sleep? It's so cozy. I'm going to show you now. Ina, lie on your back. Straighten up, extend your legs. And what is the big advantage here? Everything is well stretched out. Everything that has been bent through your day, hyperkyphosis, lordosis, another lordosis, all that is getting straightened out now. And we would do you one better with our exercise sling. By the way, you can find information on the sling up here. What do we do next? Let's see. Put your head into the sling. Just do it yourself. In there. No, that has to be in the front like this. Now extend your arms upward. And put your head down. Take the sling. Now, listen up. This is the exercise. You pull down your lumbar spine to the mat as far as possible. Pull in your belly button and tuck your chin in towards your throat. Keep your arms up. Maybe I'll show you from the side um, so you can see how her chin is tucked in. And now you lift your head a bit so it kind of floats just a half an inch. And while you're doing this, always tuck your chin in and you turn your head ever so slightly from side to side, left to right, so that you feel a good stretch in the back of your neck muscles. You know? Side to side, side to side. Turn left to right very easily and tuck your chin in even more. And maybe you pull upwards a little. This pulls your head into this direction. Lift it up a bit. And do that for two minutes. And when you slide off, get down a bit again. And you will notice a stretch starting right here. And allow your head to float. Belly button down, chin down, and tiny motions with your head. One minute has gone by. 
We do that for two minutes. Turn slowly, so you stretch everything out back there. That is the sleeping position you should get used to. Don't get scared off. The first three days, you'll be sore all over, especially if this is your first time. But after a couple of days, one or two weeks tops, the typical first response, I can't do that, I don't want to do that, is a thing of the past. That you turn on your side again during the night is not a problem. As soon as you realize it, turn on your back again, without the sling, of course, just on your back again, everything will be fine and you'll wake up full of energy. And now, you're probably eager to learn how to win one of these slings. Very simple. Subscribe to our channel and activate the bell. Write a comment. Tell us how you sleep. Most people sleep on their side. Please write us about it, how you feel, especially how you wake up. Share this video with at least three people. We might as well say 10, because let's be realistic, because no one wakes up in the morning full of energy. That's what you have to do, and then your chances of winning the sling are pretty good. If you want to know more about sleep, then click on the video up here and down here to subscribe to this channel. Have fun. See you in our next video.